Hi, this is Java Tips. Today I'm gonna show you how to set up Trust 1.3 with Eclipse. Right click, select New, Dynamic Web Project from the menu. Enter any name for the project. Then click Next. Check Generate Web.xml, then click Finish. Right click to the project, select Configure, Convert to Maven Project. Click Finish. Click on palm.xml to edit the file. Add Dependencies tag. Go to Maven repository website to get the dependencies. There are three dependencies to be added. The first one is Servlet 3.0. Choose the latest stable version. Copy and paste to the file. The second one is Trust Core. Version 1.3, update 10. Copy and paste to the file. The last one is Trust Tag Leap. Version 1.3, Update 10. Copy and paste to the file. Press Ctrl Shift and App Combination to format the file. Clean and build the project to add Maven dependencies to the project view path. Under Web Content, Web Inf, open web.xml. Click on Sort to edit the file. Now we register Strust Action Sublet. In Strust 1.3, Action Sublet represent the controller in the Model View Controller or MVC Design Pattern for the web application. Subflet class is org.apache.trust.action.action subflet. Trustconfig.xml is declared in initialization parameters. I'll tell you detail about this file in the next step. We use load on startup tag to force the container to load and initialize the sublet at startup and specify sublet mapping for the action sublet. The sublet name must be the same as above and the file sublet mapping that be processed by the action sublet. Right click to web in, select new, other. Under XML, select XML file and name it same as we define in web.xml. Go to Google to find an example.
copy document type definition or DTD and paste to the file. Shrub config is the root element of the file. Form bin tag contains form bin definitions. And declare shrub form bin true name. And declare package and class name in type attribute. Action mappings contains action definitions. Path is the URL of the action, the path is unique. Name it the associated form B name. And package and class name is declared in type attribute. For stress action. Input the target to forward to when validation error happens. Action forward represent a destination to which the controller sublet action sublet might be forwarded to or redirected to as result of processing activity of an action class. Message resources provide a simple way to put text in a view page. It also enables you to provide text in different languages. Right click to the project, select new package. Name the package same as we declare in stressconfig.xml, then click finish. Right click to the package, select new other. Under general, select file and name it same as we declare in stressconfig.xml, then click finish. The key is to the left of the equal sign and the value is to the right. When action is executed, these properties will be available to view page by referencing the key. Right click to the project, select new class. Enter class name and package same as we declare in shrubsconfig.xml, then click finish. An action form is a Java bin that extends Shrust action form is optionally associated with one or more action mappings. As any Java bin is have properties and accessor method, Right click to the class, select source, generate getter and setters. Select all, then click OK. Right click to source, select new class. Enter class name and package, same as declare in shrubsconfig.xml. Then click finish. An action is an adapter between an incoming request and the corresponding business logic that should be executed to process this request. Execute method processes the specified HTTP request 
and create the corresponding entity response. It returns an action forward instant describing where and how control should be forwarded. Form parameters is the action form bin. Get input forwards return an action forward corresponding to the action's input attribute value. To avoid outer exception, we always need to check object before calling any method of it. We use equals ignore case to compare string ignoring k considerations. File forward return the action forward with a specified name, if any, otherwise return null. Action errors is a class that encapsulates the error messages. Just in case the criteria doesn't match, we add an error message to the set of errors. Action message is an encapsulation of a message consisting of the key in an appropriate resource bundle. Save the specified error message keys into the appropriate request attribute using Shrust error tag. Right click to web content, select new JSP file, name it hello.jsp, then click finish. Chocolate directive declares chalk libraries. In this example, we use Trust HTML chalk library. Press control space to show JSP template proposal and select Trust HTML chalk library from the list. Trust form renders an HTML form element. Action is declared in Shrust config.xml to which this form will be submitted. Shrust tag render an HTML text block property is the property of the associated form bin. Submit tag renders an HTML submit button. Errors tag display a set of error messages prepared by a business logic component. Right click to web content, select new JSP file, and name it welcome.jsp. The trust bin truck library contains truck to access bins and their properties. Prefix is required for every custom tag. Bin write tag retrieves the value of a specified bin property and render it to HTML text. Name specify name of the bin that declare in shrustconfig.xml. Property is the property of the bin. Go to Window menu, select Show View, Other. Under Servers, select Servers, then click OK. Click to the link to add new server. Select Tomcat 7 Server. 
Browse to where you install Tomcat. Select the folder, then click OK. Click Install JREs to configure runtime environment. Remove existing one and add new one. Click Directory to select JDK Home Directory. Select the folder, then click OK. Click Finish. Check the JDK, then click OK. Change JRE, then click Finish. Right-click to Server, select Add, and remove to deploy the application by moving it to the right. Then click Finish. You should disable Build Automatically option. Clean and build the project. Open server.xml. Contact represent a web application. Contact path must be unique. Start Tomcat server. Open web browser and type. Enter a name, then click Submit. The application doesn't recognize you. Change the name to Mike, then try again. Congratulations.